All these cars were built by teenagers somewhere in between the age of 15 and 19. All these cars were built by teenagers somewhere in between the age of 15 and 19. It's a long story. Uh, I decided I wanted to be a teacher after kicking around doing labor and stuff, so I went to college. I was 28 before I uh, started the college, and I uh, decided I wanted to teach because I thought the students needed better teachers in certain cases. After college, I started teaching automotive technology. And uh, I didn't have anything for the students to do, but I was already working on race teams and stuff. So I just started teaching them how to take a car apart and put it together in a race form, build the roll cages, build everything. The whole cars would come into the shop and the students would take them all the way down to a tub and rebuild everything. Oh yeah, it was far better than being in an academic classroom. And uh, it was an easy car to work on because it's really simple. So they didn't have to learn a lot of computer stuff right off the bat. They pretty much learned how to handle the tools and take a simple car apart and put it back together, just like I learned. I taught about 25 years and about 60 students a year. Uh, they did this car right here, named Dorothy, and the orange one back there, named Trixie. This particular car's been on the track since 2000. That's the Golden Shifter Award. Um, we have a group of guys who all drive one of these with identical equipment in it. There's a, a formula to pick a winner for the year. The interesting thing about it is the winner from that year has to display it at every race for the next year and we also encourage them to make modifications to it. So if you look at the trophy, it started out just as a shifter off of a Sprite, and then things have been added to it, like there's an airplane, new sparkly paint, a turntable. This year's winner will get the trophy and will feel obligated to modify it in some portion. The plan for my race car is not to break and not to crash and not to go off the track into the mud. No, not really. I'd like to keep doing as long as I physically can. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't good. Uh, I started racing at SVRA events maybe five or six years ago, and I liked the organization, I liked how I'm treated, and I like the opportunity to race at different tracks where I haven't raced before, and not to spread hate and discontent in the pits.